On this morning's Health Watch, a controversial diet. It is called the blood type diet, and it encourages people with certain blood types to eat very specific foods. Here to help determine whether it's a good lifestyle choice or just a fad is CBS News medical correspondent, Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Great to have you with us good as morning, always, Jen. Rebecca. And I want to get right into this. What does it entail if, for example, you have type O blood? Okay, so obviously, as you said, it's broken down by blood types, and most people don't know their blood types, so you need to find that right. out first. I don't know mine. Type O is said to be the digestive tract of ancient times. So people with that blood type said to do well with lean meats, chicken, fish. Pretty basic. How about A? Type A, think agrarian. So this is said to be the blood type of farmers, vegetarian diets, grains thought to be good, gentle exercise beneficial for people with that blood type according to this theory all right and then you have the b which i think is known as the nomadic that's correct diet. so the people with type b blood in terms of their digestion tend to be a little more tolerant in terms of what they can handle do well with a low fat dairy diet lots of produce they should avoid wheat or corn and more moderate exercise according to this theory beneficial for those types then when you go to type a b more of the modern blood type the modern diet a little bit sensitive digestive tract. They should avoid chicken, beef, pork, but they can eat fish and dairy. And I think what we ha need to underscore here is all of this pretty healthy, pretty common sense stuff. Nothing too outlandish here in terms of what you're actually putting in your mouth. Yeah, they're not telling you to go out and eat nothing but cheese or nothing but Correct. meat. Correct. But at the same time, is there research to support the legitimacy of well, all this? Well, this is where it gets a little dicey. And we say in medicine, if something sounds too good to be true, Probably it is, and there is a lot of controversy about this diet. Most well-respected medical and scientific experts say the research is lacking. Obviously, the person who devised this diet can back it up with his own theories. And I think when you look at something like this, as with anything in medicine and health, you have to balance risk versus benefit. There's nothing harmful in this diet, but whether it's actually going to be beneficial and transform your ability to lose weight or stay lean, that's really up in the air. People can, though, feel better if they consume certain types of foods. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that really speaks more to the Ayurvedic or holistic approach to health and wellness, where in Ayurvedic medicine, which is the Eastern Indian type of medicine, they really believe that you have a dosha or constitutional type that is different. So you and I will, might have different doshas, different constitutional mm. types. So therefore, what we eat and how we exercise and how we move might differ. I think there's a lot in medicine and science that we still don't understand. And people should have an open mind about those things. But also Ultimately, it sounds like you're not saying this is the particularly sensible diet. It's more about a well-rounded thing. Absolutely. And what I tell my patients, the laws of physics still apply. Calories in versus calories burned. Yes, you want to find out what works for you. But those simple laws, in versus out, they're not changing. Jen Ashton, as always, we appreciate it. You bet, it. Rebecca.